Hey guys, it's Igonzi Tim right again and welcome back to my channel. So first of all, thank you again for joining today. I really appreciate your time. I also wanted to ask you, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, to please do so by just clicking on the button below and hitting subscribe because it's really going to help me in bringing you a lot more content. Today I'm really excited because I'm going to do another Oculus development video. In the previous video, I show you how my VR Draw implementation works. I show you how I could move my player controller around, how I could actually use the line render to draw and I also show you how the inspector looks like. So what I'm going to be doing in this video is I'm going to walk you through part two where I added a lot of features to the implementation that I showed you previously. So let's jump into Unity and I start working on it. All right guys, so let me show you what we're going to be doing in Unity, which is to basically walk through what I added to this scene since the previous time that I show you the this project. So. Uh, some of you that just jump in and haven't watched the previous video, if you haven't watched the previous video, make sure that you do watch it because I basically walk you through how this works. I'm going to give you a quick overview of how it works and then we're going to be looking at some of the new features. So for those of you who don't know, this is a project that I've been prototyping. I am really excited about the progress and it basically allows me to create drawings in VR, in virtual reality, by using a line render and then also using some of the components that Oculus incorporated in their integration. So let me just show you how it works. So I'm just going to expand the VR player controller, the OVR camera rig, and then we're going to basically look at some of the components. So right now, and, and I also try to, as much as I can, make it in a way that we can, you know, test this through the editor. And I'm going to hesitate that again because I did it on the previous video. Make sure that you build tools that are going to allow you to do so. Because if you do that, it's going to minimize the time that it takes you to develop something. For instance, if I had to wait every time I make a change and then, you know, having to push this to the device, it will take a lot of time and it will be very difficult to make progress. So instead of doing that, I spend time, you know, working on the groundwork. And that's what I did here. I tried to add a lot of tools that allows me to test these without actually running the experience in the Oculus Quest. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically play it and then I'll show you how it works. And then I have the audio muted, but I basically have audio so that I can, I get excited about, you know, listening to music when I work on games. So I added an audio manager that allows me to do so. Okay, so now that I'm in play mode, I'm gonna show you what I have. So if I click on the right hand anchor, the right hand anchor is the basically the pivot position of the right controller. And if I move that, it's going to move the entire controller. And that's what I wanna do. I want to, I'm gonna basically put, put it right here. And then we're gonna put it right side to side. So some of the options that I added in here is if I go into the game view, and what I'm going to do for the game view, I'm just going to make it very small here. The reason why I'm doing that is because I'm basically going to focus on the editor, on the scene view instead of the game view. So if I press the X key, you're going to see that I'm bringing in the left controller UI. If I press the A key, I'm bringing the right controller UI. So that's how I have those mapped right now. If I'm on the game, I'm basically using the same keys, but in the by using the Oculus controller. So if I want to bring this GUI in the game by using the Oculus Quest controller, I'm basically going to press the A key. But if I'm going to do the other one, I will be pressing the X key, which is on the left controller. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to dismiss. So I can go ahead and dismiss one if I wanted to. I can bring it back on. I can also do the one on the left. I can do the one on the... So I, I have a fade in and a fade out animation. And I'm using do twin to do that. And you probably notice that by looking at this component right here, which is do twin. And I really enjoy it. This is something that I added this time around and I wasn't using it on the previous version. So if you want something that is very flexible and allows you to apply curves and honestly, you can do almost any type of animation with this. And when I'm talking about animation, I'm talking about motion type animations. So, if you need something like that in your game, make sure that you're using the twin. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and reset everything and let's just hit play one more time. And I'm gonna focus on the on moving the controller to the right. So 
you are going to get a couple of errors on the console, and that's because I am not running in the device. So you can ignore some of those. So I'm going to move these to the right here, and then we're going to hit the A key. So I can just, you know, toggle it. If I want to, you know, increase the line width, I could increase it if I wanted to. So I'm basically placing the left and right key on my keyboard. And then it looks like I have a bug because I'm seeing a line render getting created every time. I know why that is, but we can just ignore it for now. Now, if I press the down key, I now can look at the color that I'm going to be using for the line. And this is something that I added. I wanted to see the, RG, the RGB and alpha value. And the cool thing with that is I can, you know, if I press the down key, it's changing based on the color of this component. So I can go back. And then something that I wanted to do is I wanted to go back as well. So I'm doing up. And this works, you know, exactly the same way that it'll work in the in the device. Of course, in the device, I'm going to be using the thumbstick to navigate around. So if I go down, I'm basically going to allow, I'm going to use the thumbstick to do that. And then if I go right and left, it's going to allow me to basically go through the colors. So the other thing that I wanted to do as well is I wanted to be able to select the color. And, and to do that, I'm using the R key. So, but I didn't want it just to say, okay, I'm selecting a color and that's it. I wanted to have something that will show some motion. And that's what I'm using the twin here. You can see that that little square is getting rotated. And in fact, if I go, you know, if I go and select another color, I can select that one as well. So this means that it is selected. So the yellow color is selected. This means that we're just basically going through those. But just the selection happens when I hit the R key for the right controller. So that's how that works. The other thing that I can show you, if we go ahead and expand the right hand anchor and look at the view at the VR control options. And let me go ahead and, okay, so it's the VR draw, right? So I showed you this before, but this is the canvas that is assigned to the right controller. I'm using a VR controller options and that this is my own implementation of how to bind the different components that are in this UI. And then I'm also using what's called a Unity event. And the way that I'm using the Unity event in this case is I want to track whenever somebody's changing the slider. Because if somebody's changing the slider, I want to know and I want to capture an event that's going to send an event to this other object, telling the object that I changed the width. The same thing with the color. If we look at some of the color components, if we click in here, you can see that I have a VR, a VR draw color. So this component is responsible for finding out what color it is. So you can see that I'm using a draw image. I also know if something is selected right now, it's going to have the, if I'm basically focusing on something, the is focus will be set to true. If I have something selected, the is selected will be set to true. Also, I needed to make this generic because I'm using the pairing controller of this is also used for the slider. So I needed to know what kind of option this was going to be. So in this case, I'm using, you know, I told the UI component that this is for a color. But on the slider, this will be set for a slider. The other thing that I wanted to do as well is I wanted to track. So on the slider, I know when the value is changing. And I need to send basically a call back, back to the VR draw, which is the one that is responsible for drawing. So the one that is responsible for drawing is going to need to know what color it needs to use. And it also needs to know the line width that it needs to use. So in this case, uh, this is for the color. So I'm calling the VR draw update line, line color method that is that is actually getting called by using a unity event so that's what i'm using in here and then of course i'm using a canvas so if i were to change this you can see how this is using so i'm using a canvas group to to simulate the alpha value getting changed and also animating that value as i go in and, and select different col different colors also if i press the letter a you can see if we go back to this option right here and I were to hide it, you can see how this value is changing. So it's come back on, also changing. I could also change the speed of, this, of the fade if I wanted to. So if I want the speed to be, you know, maybe faster than that, I could, or actually take longer, that's what this is. So you can see that, you know, by doing that, it's just really, really slow. And I really don't want to wait that long for the overlay to show. So I made it, you know, 0.3, I think was a good number. And then this also shows me which which color is currently selected. 
So that's what this is, the VR color options, and I showed you that previously. So on this, in these features that I'm adding right now, the ones that I added were the, I wanted to know the color of the, you know, the color that I have selected by specifying that by use, in a, using a label. And then I wanted to also be able to change the color. So if we go back into the VR color, color right, and I were to select this, so this is already set to red, but if I wanted to go to another color, set it to blue, you can see that the color that the VR draw is using is getting changed to the color that I'm selecting. So if I don't want to select that, I wanted to maybe do a gray, to select the gray, I could also go back to this one and select this one. So the other thing that I wanted to show you as well, so let's say that I'm, so in this, this one is the VR draw right. So if I look at the VR, at the line render associated with that controller, so the way that it works is I have a line render that is associated with the right controller and also one for the left. And then I also have multiple because if you're basically releasing the draw, I want to, I want to stop from, you know, drawing, but if I want to start drawing a new line, I don't want to make the line be continuous. I want the line to start as a new line so that it looks more realistic. So that's what these two are. But I wanted to show you how I can change the color and it also changes the material. So you can see that this is all changing. So if I go back to this one and we can go fast and then I can also, you know, go back to either direction. So this is all working, working great. So let me go ahead and just stop the game from playing and we're just gonna play it again. I just wanna start it clean. And I'll show you the default implementation which I showed you previously. So if we go back and let's go ahead and move this one to the right again. And I'm gonna focus on this controller. I'm gonna open it up and then we can hide it. So if I wanted to draw, I could go into the VR draw right. And I'm gonna say that I'm that I'm holding, so this is mocking up the holding event. So I'm gonna say, okay, I want to start drawing. You can see that a point was drawn on the controller. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move the controller around and you can see that that's all working just fine. So let's say that I wanted to draw a different type of line. I wanted to draw a line that had a different color, for instance. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna say, okay, I don't wanna draw anymore. And then I'm going to go ahead and press the right key because I wanna create a new a new line render. And this is what will happen in the real game, in the real experience in the device. I just had to do a couple of things that were a little hacky on the editor to make it work. So now that I have that selected, we need to bring in our UI. And then I wanna change the color that I have currently selected. So to do that, I'm going to, let's go ahead and select a, a red color. I think a red color works. And then we can go ahead and look at the line render and you can see that that has, was changed. So I'm gonna hide it and then I'm going to select my right, my right hand anchor and then we're gonna start drawing. And it's not drawing because I didn't select the, the override for the key to simulate that I'm drawing. So let's go ahead and do that. And now I am having an issue because it's not drawing. So let me make sure that this is set correctly. So it is set correctly and let's go ahead and do it. Do this one more time. Make sure that I can draw. And looks like I'm having some issues because this is not doing what it's supposed to be doing. And there we go. I think I'm having some issues with the OVR player controller. Let me go ahead and hide it. And I'll do the same thing with this, these two, and then we can go ahead and go back to our, our anchor here. Okay, let's go ahead and select that again. Let's do a different color. And then I'll go ahead and make sure that I can I hide it. The right key select it, and then I'm gonna move around. And then it looks like I have some issues. So let me look at the code and see if I had, if there were some things that I wasn't setting. So I'm using world spacing here and this should be okay. Let me make sure because sometimes I have issues with the, I'm gonna hit play. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this one more time. Let's go ahead and hit play. And as you can see, this is a prototype. So I still have a few bugs that I need to fix. And looks like I'm getting some errors and I think those errors are fine. So let me go ahead and move this to the right. All right, and then what I'll do, I'll just select a different color. Let's go ahead and select red. And okay, so this is what I'm having here as a problem. 
update recent post. That might be, I think that might be okay. Let me go ahead and change this to be that color and then we'll just hide it. And yeah, I think we're having, we're having some issues with that. And oh, okay, I see where the problem is. I was selecting the wrong option. So let me go ahead and select the right option here. And you can see that, okay, yep. And that's working. So I'm gonna start over just to show you that what I, what I show you, it's working. So let's go ahead and hit play one more time. And I'll show you these running on the device. And okay, let's give it a minute here. Okay, I'm just gonna focus on the project here. Let me go inside, close. Okay, so the option that I was changing that was the incorrect option was the option that was on the VR control options. The one that I needed to change was the one on the VR draw right. And this is because I had some code that I haven't removed. So I knew that this wasn't gonna be a perfect demo. So there you go, I didn't have a perfect demo. <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna start, let's go ahead and just do Y. I think Y is fine. And then what I'll do is to just hide it. And then we'll go ahead and select the VR draw right. We can collapse this and then select the right key. You can see that that is, you know, the color that I that I wanted to draw. So what if I wanted to draw on a different color? So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the, go ahead and bring this up and hit the I key. And then I'm gonna select, let's go ahead and select blue this time. And then what I'll do, let me, let me make sure that this is selected. And then what I'm gonna do is, let me hide it, okay. And let me go back into this controller. It looks like it's not drawing for some reason. And there we go. And let me make sure that this is right. Oh, there we go. Okay, so I need to release in order to draw a new line. So I'm going to go ahead and draw now. So now it's drawing in. And it looks like I moved the controller around. So, so this is all working just fine. Let's go ahead and do it one more time just so that I can walk you through the right. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm going to say that I need to change the color. So in that instance, I'm gonna go back to here, to the VR draw right, let release this. This is basically mimicking that we're releasing the draw, the, the actual trigger on the component, on the controller. So that's why it'll happen in real life. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select a different color. I'm, go I'm going to also add a new line. So let me make sure that I'm adding a new line by selecting that, okay. And I think this is still really buggy, to be honest, because I'm having all sorts of issues. Let me make sure that this is hidden. I'm gonna hit the right key. And let me go ahead and, so this is not the one, it's the one on the right on the VR, okay. So I'm gonna release it hit the right key to create a new line render, and we can go ahead and draw one more time. Okay, I think it's just really difficult to explain it, to be honest, and, and, also, and also show you, but it works really well. I think what I wanna do is show you how it works on a device, and also show you how these, you know, behaves when we're running on the device. So that's basically everything that I wanted to show you. I added, just as a summary, let me go ahead and hit play to stop it and then hit play to replay it again. And okay, let me just show you again the control. So just as a summary, I have, you know, I made some improvements to the UI component, also the line render. I also show you how I can change some of the colors in here and how we can actually mimic how this will behave in the device, even though we had a couple of hiccups. So, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how it looks on the device by running these in the Oculus Quest. Thank you guys. All right guys, so I took a video of the experience running in the Oculus Quest. So let me show you the results, which I, I am actually pretty excited about it because it looks actually cooler than I thought it, that it was gonna look. So it's going to, so I'm gonna show you what it's doing. So you can see that I have the overlay control. I'm changing it with the, with the controller. I am, changing the width of the line like I show you in the game and then I'm just getting familiar with this because I haven't used it with this new control I'm also changing the line width 
let me increment it a little bit more so you can see that I'm incrementing this a lot more. So I'm going to fast forward it and then show you some of the other cool things that I... So in this one I wanted to make a, a cylinder and then not only a cylinder because I show you it's actually a ring but I also wanted to change the color of the ring. In this one I'm selecting the color, you know, the color yellow and then I'm basically rotating and what I'm going to do is I'm going to play it and then you can see how it looks. And that's honestly everything that I wanted to show you guys. Let me just fast forward it so you can see all the other things that I did by playing around. I just was having a lot of fun playing with this prototype, to be honest. So in this one I did just different, you know, different motions and I had a lot of fun creating this. So I have a lot of things that I need to add to this prototype and I'm going to be showing you that on the next video. I have a few ideas, but I haven't coded them yet. So by the next video, you should be able to see few things that I'm going to be applying to the lines once they are being drawn and I'm really excited about what I'm going to be creating so stay tuned and make sure that you come back to the channel. Thank you guys. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time and if you have any questions about what I just showed you, please let me know in the comments. Also be sure to check out GameDev.net because they have amazing resources for game developers and also find me in Patreon.com where I'm posting information about what I'm doing behind the scenes. Thank you very much guys.